Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be doing a review on Box Fetish. It is a subscription box which contains makeup products and I'll be doing a review on it. So if you are interested to know what this actually is, then please keep on watching. And if you are new to my channel, just take a moment to subscribe to my channel. As always, I'm thanking all my supporters and viewers once again and again and again. Thank you so much for all the support you have given me so far and keep supporting. Now let's get into the video. Box Fetish is actually a monthly subscription box and it is completely focused on makeup products. So you'll be getting different types of makeup products monthly. Like what it actually is, you are going to be prepaying the amount for a month and by that month you'll be receiving some makeup products and this is completely focused on only makeup products. If you have already heard about these kind of subscription boxes then it's well and good. I'm here just explaining for those who really don't know what this is. So I'm just going to be showing you the box. So this is what you actually get. This one you get for rupees 6.99. So if you are going to be joining as a member in Box Fetish, then you can just pay for a month like 6.99 rupees and they will be delivering you the product to your home and the delivery charge is like 50 rupees so you this is the box and like when you open it i have already opened this so this is not a fresh you know unboxing kind of a video because i wanted to make sure that the products are good and uh, it is of no damage so it just came with these kind of these things and uh, all the products were well packed that is the one point that i actually wanted to say here these are all so very well packed that no damage could ever happen during you know the delivery time i'll be going through the details of all the products that i actually get in this box so i'm just going to do a overview of the products so first is a nail polish in this berry shade and here is a bb and bb cream with the powder thing and this one is a lipstick this is a lip balm and a mascara you totally get like five products in a box monthly all the products will be changing so when you actually go into their site when you register yourself you will be prompted to fill in your requirements like if you have light or dark or medium skin tone and what are your actual requirements like going neutral or smoky kind of thing for eyeshadows and those kind of things and for lipsticks also you will be having more and more options like what kind of color or undertone you actually require so from your requirements they will be sending you the products so the main aim of the subscription box is to get the affordable makeup products for us girls so it's like they will be giving you like four to five products that is what they actually claim so it depends on the season and uh, it's not like only these products you will be receiving it depends on the season it may change and but without moving ahead from your requirement so once after subscribing if you ever feel like you don't like the products anymore or you want to stop it you can definitely go ahead and refund also so it is of very easy and you can just directly mail them you can drop a mail to their mail id i'll be listing all the details of the uh, website and the other details in the description box below you can definitely check it out so i'm just going to go through all the products in detail now so first off we get this ADS lip balm and it comes in a poppy pink color but when you actually swatch it gives a mild stain and this smells completely waxy and plasticky that is one big drawback I, I definitely really hate the smell of this but it just glides onto your lips not like any other lip balms but it just feels very very glossy and creamy it just glides onto your lips but yeah, it gives a weird kind of a stain at the inner part of your lips once after application. Not on the entire lips, but just in the inner part. I have already tried all the products in the box. Yeah, I'll be just showing you like these swatches of uh, all the products. So it's something like this. It gives a mild little tint. When applied on the lips, it does not give a full on tinted look. Rather, in just one minute, all the color just settles into the inner line of your lip, if you know what I mean. It just settles and um, yeah, it's kind of like odd. It dries up over there and it's like you have applied something which is not suitable for you. So that's the one minus and uh, the other important big minus is the smell. It's, it's not good. So this is the first product. 
So the next product which actually surprised me at first impression is this. This is a lipstick. It completely looks like a tiny little wine bottle but this is so cute. And the brand name is NYN. N -N 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 -N, I don't know. It's NYN. -N -N. So I haven't heard any of the product name except uh, the... ADS thing because it's a straight uh, makeup brand so I have come across lots of uh, ADS eyebrow pencils so I know there is a brand called ADS so it comes in a cute little bottle like this and this is in shade 108 and it's a good red color it glides very well onto your lips and it also has a medium kind of a pigmentation it's not very very pigmented and uh, Mm, this smells quite good it's not very bad as the lip balm this is okay and this also has a good staying power which i did not really expect it this actually worked just okay okay for me i was not super disappointed and super happy with this product that is what i am actually trying to tell here so this is what it actually looks from one swipe it's something like this so it's quite well pigmented and as I said uh, the staying power is also not too bad. It stays for on your lips for quite some time and it also does not dry out your lips. So yeah. Next up we got this mascara. The mascara is from Me Now Generation 2 brand. Uh, I'm again I don't know like what brand this is. So this says it's uh, shaped to the lash, flexible mascara, instant and intense effect. So the packaging and the mascara itself is so fancy. All are like you know kind of a very attractive looking. The These tiny little details and the packaging are very very good actually. I like the packaging of this one and the lipstick that I showed you before. Seriously these are really very cool and cute. So this mascara actually works pretty well surprisingly. It has kind of like this bristles and this actually reminds me of MAC Extreme Dimension 1. So guys this is the one from MAC and this is the one from uh, um, this brand Yemen and I don't know what brand it is. So these both kind of look similar at least from my opinion. It has tiny little small bristles. And you know what you guys this mascara is waterproof and uh, it just gives a good coat of you know uh, wispiness and um, lengthening effect to your eyelashes it was completely a uh, good product seriously it's good and um, it is waterproof also but it ha it is not actually mentioned anywhere in the product that's one thing that is actually disappointing it does not uh, tell like it's a waterproof product but it is waterproof i checked it so the mascara is a winner in the package then we got this um nail polish and this one is from miss ebony See basically I am a person who just go for like um, even for 10 rupees and 20 rupees nail polishes because I love them and I'll, I'll be just changing them randomly and I'm not a super nail growing person also as you can see. If I find some good colors in uh, some cheap brands or like say like local brands I'll be getting them. I'll just use it and so far no bad has happened actually to my fingers so yeah that's that so the color is also very very good with this and it's in number 243 from my opinion this one is okay product because the color is good it's a matte nail polish so the final product is this beaut bright white bb two-in-one compact and cream it says it's oil free yes the brand name is French Idol and uh, let me show you how it actually looks like you actually get a powder product and a cream product let me show you oh my god this is a cream product and you also get a sponge applicator along with it like here it's placed over here so the packaging is quite good I just wanted to show you just the swatches because it's definitely not my shade so this is the cream product 
and this is the powder product so the powder is extremely pigmented and uh, it has a good intensity whereas the cream is very very creamy and oily and it gives a good whitish flashback giving kind of like a, a result after application the one reason is it's completely not my shade i was just trying out if it actually irritates my skin or if it actually works pretty decent on my skin i haven't find any um changes or any irritation or any other thing because these brands i haven't heard anywhere beaut bright white french idol uh, i wanted to try and test and i have to tell this to you so it took time it actually took some time so if you are someone uh, in the fairer side then this will actually help but for me i don't know what i'm actually going to do with this i but i really don't know like what i'm going to be doing with the pro with the powder i'll be uh, using the powder to set my concealed areas on the top of the eyelids and those kind of stuff where it is not going to show through but with the cream thing i really don't know what i'm going to do because the cream thing actually sucks you guys it's a no no product so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to google all the brands i have already googled them and i did not get any proper information of these brands so once again now i'm just going to cross check and i'm going to let you know if these brands can be actually used because makeup products are meant to be applied on your skin as you all know so like when you actually invest on uh, some amount for your makeup products you have to have an eye on it like even very top brands top costly you know high expensive high end brands may not work for you because i i have literally faced problems like that that brand may work amazingly amazingly well for at least 70% of people but it may not work good for the rest 30 and some of the cheap brands like you know very very cheap like there are uh, lipsticks for rupees 20 rupees and compact powders for rupees 80 rupees and those kind of stuffs actually work really very well on so many people and they uh, also do not face any side effects or any problems with their skin but when recommending something for uh, you guys I'm not going to take a risk that is the one thing so I'm just going to google it very quick and I'm going to let you know so guys unfortunately after googling I haven't found any any result for this brand and uh, yeah you can also try this guys I'll be listing the names of the products in the description box below you can definitely check it out so with these three product brands I am able to get some reviews and you know product details all the three brands actually received like 50 50% kind of like a review like 50% of people actually love these products and 50% actually don't so that's one thing but basically these are just street makeup brands so next is this misabony again i did not find any in google i'm very sorry for that so why i'm actually insisting and telling you all these things is like you are going to be investing 700 rupees and when you are going to actually buy a product for your face especially makeup products you have to check the reviews the swatches and all those related things before you buy any stuff so with well known brands like maybelline l'oreal la girl and what else lakme and those kind of brands are like well popular i know these are not popular i don't know the reason why they are not it's because of the market or because of the quality i'm really not sure but if this actually works good i'll be definitely insisting you like with this mascara if you can get it you can definitely get but the rest of the other like cream product it's like the shade is very very light only a very pale pale skinned person only will be able to use this so i don't know like how this is actually going to work and the lipstick is also doing good but the problem is like you are going to put like 700 7 around 750 rupees for this box for the subscription box and you are going to get products like these now in the market for 700 rupees you can definitely invest on uh, many other good products i'm not like um, actually i'm not insisting like i don't like this box i i completely love the idea of subscription box it's like kind of surprising yourself monthly like you are just going to be paying some amount and you'll be just eagerly going to wait for the products to arrive 
so it's definitely going to be very fun and surprising and nice these kind of brands i don't know like how to how many of you girls it's actually going to work personally personally really very personally i am not going to be using this thing this baby or um, no, compact powder as i said the powder i can just work it some way or the other but the cream i'm definitely not going to use because i'm actually basically a pride of using that said and again with this lip balm i don't know i'll definitely not be applying this on my lips and i'll also not be recommending this to anyone again this is the ads and you may definitely get this one for just like 20 or 30 rupees but you don't want to because there are so many other products because you can just save tiny tiny bits of amount like monthly you can just definitely invest in at least two products uh, if you are a college going girl you can just save your pocket money and you can get like a bb or a cc cream which is like for rupees 400 to 500 and the other month you can get some good kajal and uh, mascara uh, if these kind of subscription boxes actually sell like good brands makeup products then i'm definitely going to recommend to each and every one of my friends and to you all you guys definitely that will happen but since the brands are not very convincing for me uh i'm really very sorry to tell I will definitely not be suggesting this but if you are a makeup lover and if you are okay with any you know brand and if you are okay with the money you can definitely go ahead and uh, subscribe their page and you can just enjoy these goodies so yeah that's it guys they have taken time to contact me and they have actually sent this to me like wholeheartedly but i'm really very 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 sorry from i'm just telling this from the bottom of my heart because uh, there are few like who are actually listening my words and getting the products and are feeling satisfied so i definitely don't want to give you any misconceptions or any wrong details to you so that you don't want to waste your money that's the one thing i have to tell and i'm really very sorry if it actually hurt someone i just wanted this to be completely truthful and honest i just don't really want to just simply show the products because when i actually uh, searched for some other review of these products i definitely i'm telling you guys i haven't really got one proper review on this products actually i just wanted to give a good review on the just the products because box doesn't matter the products that actually comes in is actually going to matter so you are going to be using the products and it should not cause you any harm so i hope you all like this video if you like it please give it a thumbs up and uh, one more thing guys if you wanted to check their page you can definitely check them out i'll just link all the details in the description box you can check it out and yeah so if you have any suggestions or comments or queries you can feel free to ask them or tell them in the comment section below i'll answer them as much as possible so yeah see you all in my next one guys bye